This is a video to show how to install MIDI Voyager and also a sound font and also a MIDI file. So go to the browser and go to isleofmauipipeband.org, which is where I'm at. Left button up at the top is a menu. There's the home. That's the home right there. But we want a certain thing and we want to go to the bottom of the menu. And down there is something that says learn with MIDI. We could open that up, and what we want, well, actually we'll just go to that page. And on here are some instructions on how to install a MIDI player. The one we want is called MIDI Voyager, and we'll take the free version. So I click on free version right there. It takes me to Google Play. There's also an Apple version for an iPhone or an iPad. And uh, so this is the free version, and it's installing it now. And let's open it up. We need to give it access. Okay, there it is. Now what we need to do is we need a sound font. And so we are going to first, actually, we'll go back to the website. That one page we are looking at, and let's get the sound font. So just click on sound font right there. And then what we want to do is click the upper right, and we want to download it to this phone. So click on download. And hopefully that's downloading right there. Now let's go back to the MIDI Voyager. And we want to go to settings, bottom right. And we want to do sound font. So, oh, it's already on sound font, so we want to add a sound font. So let's do that. Click on Add. Loading more than one is only available in the Pro version. OK, well, then let's replace that sound font. And we go to the SD card because we put it into Downloads and click on that Up button. And then go to Downloads, Download. And and so we want Isle of Maui Python, I-O-M-P-B sound font. Click on that guy. And it is loaded already. Let's go back to the website, and we have some MIDI files here for the drummers and some stuff for the pipers. Let's go to the drummers, and let's go to the books section right there. And we want James Lachlan's book, so click on that. Now we're on that page. And there's a list of some things that I have put in here. Let's choose this one, uh, doubles. Page 2406. And I want to go back to MIDI Voyager. And then I want to look for the MIDI file. Open MIDI file, there we go. And let's click on, it says latest, we'll try that first. And it's not there, let's go up. And look again in download. That one right there it had to do with rolls. Okay, so it's it's loaded it and let's play it. Four for nothing there. Yeah. Yeah, this is the roll one. Roll exercise. This is going a little bit slow. Let's speed it up. Okay, that's part A. Now here's part B. Oh, there are the eighth notes and sixteenth notes. Then thirty seconds. And then some buzzes. And then it repeats. Now some special things in here. There aren't any markers shown, but we can turn on markers. Let's stop it right there and then turn on special stuff. It should be an extras, extras. There you go. Create markers. And click on the bottom one, MIDI marker. There's all the markers So, in the score. So if you have the book, you know, okay, I want to go to line three. So push on L3 marker. And there we are right there. And then start. That's line three. Here comes line four. Let's go for the pipes, for pipers. Is there anything there? Piper resources. Amber on the rocks, huh? 
Okay, so now it wants to download that one. Let's try that. Download. Okay, a MIDI file, pretty small. We can stop this guy, get it out of the way. And we want to go here and we want to open a MIDI file. And we want to go to download. And there it is, Amber on the Rocks MIDI. And let's see what that sounds like. That's 100% uh, of what it was recorded at 126. If that's too fast, let's slow down. Okay, so I think you get the idea. Again, we can stop and we can go to this uh, extras and see if there's any markers that were in the score, and there are 10 of them there. So, um, what is this? Part three. Go to part three and play. And go back up faster. Let's go back up to 100%. I hope this is a useful tool. I hope you enjoy it.